Hey, Pastor Pete coming to you from Grace Church of Harmony offices. You know, at Grace, we talk a lot about forgiveness of sins, how Jesus died on the cross and was raised for us, that we actually are clothed in the righteousness, the acceptance of Jesus Christ himself, and we're headed for glory. Now, but someone may ask, well, okay, that's good. I'm going to heaven someday, but what does it have to do with now? The coronavirus and, and being at home, and that may be a good or bad experience depending on what situation you're in, and, or maybe you're concerned about not having a job. What, what, what does going to heaven have to do? Well, really, while we're talking about forgiveness of sins, it has a lot to do with our day-to-day -day life. Because if God can forgive you your sins, and he can justify you. I mean, he can actually set you right as an adopted son or daughter of God. Uh, if he can do it, write your name in the will. If he can do all that, he's certainly able to meet all the needs you have right now in our present life. Um, forgiving your sins and reconciling you to God. Or my sins, forgiving, reconciling me to God, required God the Son to become human and live our life for us, a righteous life that we hadn't lived, required him to be abused and crucified in our place for our sins. I mean, it was a, this gargantuan effort by the triune God. I mean, it was just a huge thing. And, and providing you with what you need now, with money or shelter, food, uh, or meeting any other needs you may have, is just an absolute piece of cake in comparison to what God did in saving you. So if God took uh, such extreme measures to forgive you and then welcome you into his family, then he will certainly take whatever measures are necessary to care for you now en route to your heavenly home where you'll be with God in, in glory uh, forever and ever and ever. Let's pray. Father, thank you that in your Son we do have the forgiveness of sins and the assurance, the absolute assurance, that we belong to you forever. And, and the thousands and thousands of joys, ever-increasing, that we have looking, we look forward to in the age to come. Seeing your smiling face, uh, shining like the sun, experiencing all you have for your creation, that's what we have to look forward to. But if you were able to pull that off and secure that for us, you know, go orchestrating such a great effort to save us, and certainly you, you've already expressed the fact that you will hold back nothing from us in your Son. You will certainly take care of us day to day as every day we get a little closer to Jesus coming back. And we remember how you said through the Apostle Paul, he who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen.